this set of slides is about the international sector and in this presentation we'll explain the market for foreign exchange. So let's quickly see what determines exchange rate. It's going to be determined by supply and demand like any other market. So demand for foreign exchange and supply of foreign exchange. What will determine the demand? If you want to import a car from Germany, you have to buy the car in that country's currency. So if it's from Germany, you will need Euro. Therefore, you have a demand for Euro. And if foreigners, for example Americans, want to visit South Africa, they have to buy rands in exchange for their currency, so if it's Americans, dollars. In other words, they will supply the foreign currency or dollars in exchange for rands. So the exchange rate is the amount of one currency you need in order to buy another. So the demand for and supply of foreign currency determines the exchange rate for that currency. And we call this the foreign exchange market. Let's see what a graph showing this market will look like. We are looking at the market for United States dollars in South Africa. So on the vertical axis we have the price of dollars in terms of rand, so rand per dollar, and on the horizontal axis we show the quantity of dollars. So there is a demand for dollars in South Africa and this demand comes from every South African household or firm or government institution that wants to buy dollars. For example, to buy goods or services from America or to visit America as a tourist. There is also a supply of dollars in South Africa. So this supply will come from every American household, firm or government institution that wishes to buy rand. For example, to buy goods and services from South Africa or to visit South Africa as a tourist. So the demand and supply of dollars in South Africa determine the exchange rate. So the equilibrium exchange rate is the rate at which the dollars demanded equals the dollars supplied. So in this case the equilibrium price is the exchange rate. One dollar is equal to 15 rand. Or 15 rand is equal to one dollar. The qu equilibrium quantity is the amount of dollars that will be traded for rands at that specific rate, so in this case 10 billion dollars per day. So let's see how these exchange rates can change. Let's say we have a crime wave in South Africa which is reported in the US media and a lot of tourists from America decide not to visit South Africa any longer. So this will affect the supply of dollars, the supply will decrease. You can see that the equilibrium exchange rate is now going to be 18 rand a dollar. So the new equilibrium is at an, is at an exchange rate of 1 dollar equals to 18 rand and 8 billion dollars traded daily in South Africa. So this means that the rand depreciated against the dollar. It also means that the dollar appreciated against the rand. You now need more rands to buy one dollar. Let's say South Africa has an excellent year with regards to agriculture and the amount of agricultural products that are imported from the US decreases substantially. This will affect the demand for dollars. Demand will decrease. 
therefore the new exchange rate will be at 10 rand a dollar. So the new equilibrium is at an exchange rate of 1 dollar equals 10 rand and 7 billion dollars traded daily in South Africa. So this means that the rand appreciated against the dollar and the dollar depreciated against the rand. You now need less rand to buy one dollar. So how will a depreciation or appreciation of a currency affect the economy? Let's first look at the depreciation of the rand. It means foreign currency is now more expensive. Therefore, importing goods is now more expensive. Due to imports being more expensive, it can decrease. But some goods that are imported still has to be imported because it is not available locally. And those goods will now be more expensive. So price levels in the country can increase due to the higher cost of the imported products. South African goods, on the other hand, are now cheaper for foreigners and therefore exports can increase. And that's why it's often said that the depreciation of the rand will encourage economic growth because it will mean that exports will increase while imports will decrease. Let's look at an appreciation of the rand. It means the foreign currency is now cheaper. Therefore, importing goods is now cheaper and imports can increase. It may also mean that price levels in the country can decrease or at least increase at a slower rate due to the lower cost of imported products. South African goods, on the other hand, are now more expensive for foreigners which means that exports can decrease. So in this presentation we explained how the equilibrium exchange rate is determined. We explained how a change in the amount of supply of foreign currency can affect the exchange rate. And we explained how a depreciation and an appreciation of the domestic currency can affect our economy.